oh my goodness, I could go on forever. I am so proud of her. You know, she has, from where we began when we first uh, received her autism diagnosis to where she is now is totally, a. I couldn't even imagine at the time that this is where she would be. So through all of the different therapies that we had done, through the, um, you know, just learning to get to know who she was, learning how to advocate for herself and trusting that inner voice inside of her has been able to get her um, where she wants in this world. And me being able to support her through that and listen to her and validate her feelings really did help fuel that process along. So she graduated from high school with, you know, two degrees and honors. She was selected to participate in a program in grade 12, which was the dual credit program. So she took a semester in a college, like one course in grade 12, ushered back and forth, like totally outside of her comfort zone and got a 94 in the college course. So it was like a huge validation for her. She was able to find her people in high school and have that confidence to be able to fit in with them to the point where she was the one that organized them to be able to go to prom. You know, it was all just sort of that. With, and that was that was big for her. And the one thing like Jordan is, the, well, this is the way that you're supposed to do it. So, you know, when she was 16, she's like, well, I'm 16, I need to get my driver's license. And as scary as that was for me, I was like, okay, well, if you believe that, then I trust you. And we needed to make sure that it was done right, of course. But, you know, and then when she's done high school, she's like, well, I got to go to college. Okay, so we got to go to college. And then, so this is, I can't let my fears stop her. I need to believe in her when she wants to move forward. And by doing that, that has allowed her to believe in herself 